Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina, and I'm doing your October 2021 tarot. I'm going to be doing it a bit different this time, though. So first, I want to pull a card from the Major Arcana, get an idea of the main energy that you're working with this month and that you're facing, and then we're going to go in and pull a card for each week and outcome and see how it all plays out for you. So let's get right into it, and let's get a card for the main energy that you're facing this month here, Leo. October 2021 for you. We're going to stop it here. The devil. Boom. Right out. Liberation. Freeing yourself. Don't be scared. Um, all right. Let's go in and get a card for each week and let's see how this plays out. But yeah, the devil's like facing our shadow side. What have we been choosing that we're now seeing and noticing is not really... I need to change that. That's basically all that's happening. It can make us uncomfortable, but there's really no reason. All right, Leo, let's stop there. You got the hermit. Yeah, we got a lot to process and think about it looks like so far. Week one, you have the eight of swords. Week two, the 10 of swords. Week three, the page of pentacles, starting to see things differently. Week four, the devil came out twice. Could be a Capricorn here. Ooh, week five, the fool, the hermit's at the bottom. So it's something really that's got you, it's got you going within, got you going within. And that's why it's got you facing parts of yourself that could make you feel uncomfortable this week, um, this month, sorry, this month. But in the end, I think it's really going to liberate you. Hence the fool being the outcome card. Um, this is about embracing change and it's about sometimes revolutionary change sudden abrupt new beginnings you know having faith and trust in the process and in the universe even when the process is heavy even if it can be dark for at times week one we have the eight of swords thoughts not serving us and and it continues a bit on to week two to the point where it can make you feel a little bit powerless um and we'll, we're gonna go in and clarify so take it all with a grain of salt week three we have the page of pentacles this is an open energy. This is open to learning. This is very curious about something new here, very something that you want to kind of ground yourself. And, and that could just be what's happening on week three. After with all this mental energy, you might just kind of want to ground yourself again. You might want to get your footing again and just like, I need to stand back up on my two feet, right? We're going to know more as we go in. Week four is that devil again. So it's just, you know, it's, it's coming a full circle almost with the month. So let's go in. Let's start with week one. Let's clarify that eight of swords for you. Strength is here at the bottom, your own energy. So it, it is a test of faith a little bit. It's, it's going to require your resilience. It's going to require compassion and gentleness, not just with others, but with yourself this month. Let's clarify that eight of swords. Okay. Okay. Wow. Eight of cups, page of pentacles in reverse. I actually don't often read reverses, but my cards actually almost never fall out in reverse. I'm going to keep it. I just feel like it speaks of the opposite of week three where the page of pentacles is upright. Just feeling a little bit ungrounded right now. That's all I want to say. Just feeling unrooted, feeling unstable or like uncentered. And then when it comes to the eight of cups, you just, you feel like something's missing or you have the eight of swords, you have the eight of cups, right? So it just feels like something is missing. Um, something feels really out of alignment for you. I just think week one can give you a very off feeling, like you're off kilter. It could just be gut feelings, I wanna say, um, and it just has your thoughts going in all these directions. But something I think you're ready to walk away from or you just feel like it's not right. And it's something that you could have it could have been like at you for some time here. And again, I just feel it feels off kilter, off center, and it's just a very off feeling, right? Like it just doesn't feel right. And then I think it spills over a little bit into week two, like I was saying before with that 10 of swords. Let, let me go in and clarify this 10 of swords. The nine of wands shows though, you definitely got the strength. You've definitely got the strength. You're persevering and you've got the fighting spirit. That's, that's the truth. You got that warrior energy and and you kind of need it to be honest that's why strength was there so let's clarify the ten of swords in week two here leo that's this ten of swords 
Two of Swords is at the bottom, of course. Nine of Cups. Feeling stuck. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay. Thoughts are not serving you. That's all I can say with week one and week two. Um, you just feel like you can't get happy, right? It, it feels like happiness is unattainable in week two. That's that's the energy. Um, and the, there's something about it that's just is not it's keeping you up at night right it's it's just it's to the point where it's like it's time to release them and to talk to somebody that's the only thing i can say is week week two is definitely a time where if you have a friend or you have somebody who's very supportive and understanding and calming and it always feels good to talk to them talk to them reach out to that person in week two because they're not serving you and they're not helping you at that point right so let's see week three now the page of pentacles is upright looks like you've regrounded yourself and there's a centering that's happening you're standing back up feeling firm feeling more rooted so let's clarify the page of pentacles in week three but something about week two just makes it feel like unattainable like you cannot have it um okay you got the four of pentacles i mean four of wands at the bottom and so it does show that hard work pays off so in week three, you have the five of cups, you have the page of pentacles, you have the six of pentacles. You're transitioning, you're moving on. You're feeling it, but I think you're just processing emotions at this point. I think you're more grieving in week three. Something, something is being grieved, something's being released, but I think it's being, yeah, released. And now with that release, you're becoming more balanced. The Six of Pentacles is here. I think, again, you're getting more centered again. I feel like you're getting your footing and balance is being restored for you in week three. Things really start looking brighter and start looking up again. Um, there is a grieving. So there is some emotional release here or something here that has to be let go. Like it just, it's sad that it did not turn out the way you'd hoped. Um, let's clarify the devil in week four. Yet again, what's this devil in week four? All right, I'm gonna stop it here for you. Clarifying the devil, you get death. Ten of Cups. Yeah, it, this is definitely about liberating yourself. There's something that you know that you've been you've been holding yourself back and you can see it in week four. Yes, maybe there is a Scorpio here. Maybe there is a Capricorn here. Maybe there's an ending with one of these. Um, but death is ultimately a card about letting the old go for the new to come in. Letting what no longer is serving you. Again, it's something that could have been tempting for a while, but now you're saying like it's not actually a choice you want to make anymore. And that's and what's motivating you is this ten of cups. It could be relationships, or it could just be that sense of what you've always wanted. There's something that you've always wanted. There's something that matters more, and that's what's really motivating all of this change. And with death, it's just you can't unsee it, right? Like you, the light has been shed on the shadow here, and and you can't unsee it. Death shows that you have changed. By the end of this month, you have changed here, Leo, and you are releasing something old, and you're motivated by family, you're motivated by relationships, or you're motivated by this Ten of Cups, this sense of fulfillment for you. There's something greater than whatever this uncomfortable energy is. Whatever this grip was on you, there's something so beautiful that's motivating this big change, big transformation here. And, and it's the Ten of Cups is what motivates it. It's what inspires all of this, right, within you. So really beautiful. Coming towards you and the outcome is the Fool. So let's clarify the Fool energy. But as always, it is about brand new beginnings. It's the only card numbered zero, so it speaks of unlimited potential. There's, You could do so much with this new beginning, right? You're in this space of complete creation for something new and giving it shape and form and what's it going to look like um so clarify the fool let's see here all right i'm gonna stop it here who's at the bottom the fool um okay oh my god the star the queen of pentacles beautiful outcome 
I mean, you come out reborn almost. I, I mean, levels to every card. But the star, just like the fool, speaks of a time of like hope and faith and just feeling connected to everything. You know, the star also speaks of big life goals here. Um, also speaks of like the seven stars of your chakras being aligned. The queen of pentacles for me is a card of self-love as well. It's a very nurturing energy. And so there's such a beautiful outcome here for you. Like, wow, it's like it's always darkest before the dawn, right? And, and, and like the star comes out and this speaks of like renewed hope, renewed faith, authenticity, um, just seeing the light again, just a reason to celebrate and just seeing how life is connected and just being in love with the awe and the beauty of it all. Um, such beautiful things with the outcome. You know, I'm actually really glad because the month is heavy. It's heavy here. I, I would be lying if I said otherwise for whoever this resonates with. It's heavy. Like I said, week one, feels very off and it spills into week two but that's why you trust the process because you know what after all of that look what emerges right look what emerges beautiful energy beautiful energy um and you did it all right you earned it by the end of the month so i'm going to leave it there for you fantastic reading i hope you enjoyed it um let me know what you think down below as always thank you and i'll see you all next month